Finally here tonight, since it was invented in the 19th century, the basic concept of the bicycle has stayed the same. That may be changing. And some believe what you're about to see can be the future of urban transportation. Michelle Miller takes a spin. At his Cambridge, Massachusetts workshop, Usaf Bitterman is reinventing the wheel. You start pedaling, the wheel understands how you pedal, and then it helps you. So, it just pushes you, multiplying your power up to 10 times. So it makes it easier? Much easier. You got it. Okay. It so works easy. like this. Replace a regular bike wheel with a Copenhagen wheel. The bike now functions like an electric hybrid car. A tiny computer tells the motor when to kick in. Plug the wheel into the wall to recharge it or just ride. If you're going downhill, it actually breaks you automatically and stores your energy in the battery. If you're going uphill, it gives you an extra push. The wheel can go as far as 30 miles at speeds of up to 20 miles an hour. Biederman wouldn't show us the inner workings fearful of copycats. Turbo mode, right? That gives you maximum boost. You, A smartphone app is all it takes to program the ride. Flatten my city. That's one of my favorites. That makes hills feel like they're flat. Okay. Now, as, as you ride, wow, I feel it responds it. to your pedaling. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's a whole matter of the environment sort of adapting to you and learning about you. Sanjay Sarma is MIT's Director of Digital Learning. He says everyday items like thermostats and locks are becoming smarter thanks to powerful sensors and Wi-Fi connectivity. Every mechanical thing potentially that we deal with has the potential of being automated and becoming much more convenient for us. Biederman has sold several thousand wheels so far. He's hoping his Copenhagen wheel can reinvent the commute. So am I getting a workout? Michelle Miller, CBS News, Cambridge, Massachusetts.